Hey folks, Captain Dave here. In the wolf den, and as you can see, what we're talking about is the Savage Gear Hard Shrimp. Well, I'll tell you something. My first impressions. Hybrid Shrimp Real 3D Scan. My first impressions. Pretty good. Would I have put a silver hook on it? I'm not really thinking I would have. Looks like a pretty quality hook. They're very, the hooks are very sharp. And you know the whole idea here is there's a magnet in here. And my first impressions is I thought that magnet was really going to be doing the holding of the hook, which in all reality, there's a slot there. And it's more like to me, the slot is holding the hook. It seems like the slot is holding the hook. I'm not feeling a whole lot of magnetism going on here, to tell you the truth. I don't see what they're talking about here with this big, oh, the magnet's holding the hook. I mean, I don't see the magnet grabbing that hook to do anything. I mean, magnets and lures these days are a big deal. You've got the mag draft, soft plastic, uh, like big swim bait, that the hook is held by a big magnet. And that magnet's so, so strong that you can take, I don't know who makes it, Mega Bass maybe, makes the um, mag draft swim bait minnow. It's so strong you can just stick it right to a damn hunk of steel. I'm not sure if we could do that with this. Is it lifelike? Yeah, yeah, this is lifelike. And this seems to be made out of that Elaztec type material. Okay, the little swimmers here and everything. Um, hopefully this paint job is on the inside and not the outside where it's going to get all eaten up. Okay. Uh, there is a rattle inside. It's not a ball bearing. It's like a little plastic bead. Right in this, between this section and this section, I can see it inside the lure because it's kind of clear. It doesn't weigh a whole lot, which for me is good because where I'd be fishing this, I'm wanting to do a cast out and kind of presentation. 90% of your saltwater fishermen are, you know, usually in some good current. And when they make the weight of it and sub, sub buoyancy type thing, um, it's just something that they should, should keep in mind. I got two colors. This is more of a natural. And then this one here, sort of a pink, green, white. Is this going to be a quality bait? Is this going to really be able to hold up? Personally, right now, looking at it, I think this thing's going to get ripped asshole to elbow. You get a couple ladyfish or jacks on here. I think the first thing that's going is all this is just going to get ripped out. All of it. When I ordered these, I ordered them and, or pre-ordered them from Tackle Warehouse thinking to myself, I'll be probably pre-ordering some fun. Because I look at this and where I plan on fishing it. Um, there's anything from redfish, trout, flounder. Jacks and ladies, that's pretty much going to be, that's going to be the fish that are in there. And then now that I got them, 
I'm saying to myself, durability? Hmm. Durability might be in question. Another thing that always kind of gets me is if we're going to make a realistic shrimp, which in all reality, shrimp and bait and lures and hard plugs do not have to look realistic. Not in Northeast Florida by any means, I don't think whatsoever. What it has to be is I'm the fish and the lure is over here. And when I turn and I get attracted to this somehow, is its silhouette exactly like what I eat daily? That's all that matters, is its silhouette. And how it, is it moving in a natural, is it moving naturally in the water? And is that silhouette instantly let me know, as a fish, that's what I prey upon. Well, that's the only thing that is going to let me know if that's going to be correct or not is a test. These will be tested in the next few weeks. And I will be getting back to you on the durability test. The two things I can see straight off the get-go about that when I'm talking about that profile is things don't have to look exactly natural. I would have liked to have seen really bigger, glowy kind of eyes instead of dark eyes. Bigger, more glowy looking type eyes. Shimmery type eyes. So little black eyes I don't think I would have gone that direction. Either way, durability test will be coming up. Top water that dives. That's the way it's supposed, that's what this is supposed to do. So, I'm hoping that Savage Gears Hybrid Shrimp equals fun. We'll see. Thanks for watching. <laughs>